Taking care of those who have served our country is a top priority for State House members. One lawmaker has recently been given additional responsibilities with regards to our veterans. Let's spend five minutes with State Representative Karen Boback. Representative Boback, thanks for joining me. My pleasure. Thank you. You represent uh, about 60,000 people in Luzerne, Wyoming, and Columbia counties, the 117th uh, district. That's I right. imagine a good portion of them are veterans. A good portion are veterans, yes. Uh, what uh, position have you recently taken with regard to veterans? Explain what, what you're going to be doing. Well, I was appointed chairman of the subcommittee on veterans facilities. And um, it's quite the honor because having that position, should something arise in one of the veterans facilities or um, military areas like Fort Indian Town Gap, if there's a problem, then it would be my job to investigate. Also, as far as legislation concerning uh, veterans, uh, their housing and, and um, the armories. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the gap. That would be my responsibility to initiate legislation, of course, and to investigate if there's a problem. Now, we have several Veterans Administration hospitals in Pennsylvania. Does this cover that as well when no, you talk that, about facilities? That's federal. Okay. That's federal. These would be armories, they would be um, veterans' homes, and of course, Fort Indian Town Gap. Very good. You uh, really take the uh, make the effort to connect with veterans in your district uh, you offer several outreach programs tell us about some of those programs well we just began a coordinated effort with uh, the Department of Veterans Affairs they have a mobile unit and much success we bring it to my northern part of the district on two times a month and and specifically it's the first and third Monday, in case anyone is interested, and it's in Tonkanic. And this mobile vet unit is a phenomenon in and of itself. A lot of success. People come with problems that they've experienced with veterans benefits or questions they've had um, with potential benefits. And it's a wonderful resource that I'm able to at least encourage my constituents to take advantage of. We have a couple of minutes left. I want to touch on a two pieces of legislation that have to do with veterans or veteran issues. First is something you've introduced, something you call the uh, Honor and Remember the Flag in Pennsylvania. Yes. Tell us why that's important. This is an emblem that represents those who have died in battle, and it's called the Honor and Remember Flag. We would like to make this the official flag of Pennsylvania with regard to those who have died in battle. It came to the forefront for me when I had the privilege of awarding it to a Mr. Jack Cleary on behalf of his son who died on a road, from a roadside bombing. And uh, Jack Cleary, his wife Mary Ann, they were neighbors of mine for the longest time. I kind of grew up like on the same backyard. So to have presented him with this flag was really an emotional experience for me and I got to see how much it meant to this father and mother and um, this is something that I feel we need to do again it's a specific emblem designed to honor those remember and honor those who have died in battle I think that could go a long way to meaning uh, much for those families who sacrifice uh, when they sacrifice loved ones in the cause of uh, conflict and in war yes, yes. Uh, you also in, you I should have mentioned uh, your, your chairman of the subcommittee but uh, that's a subcommittee of the bigger House Veterans Affairs and Emergency Preparedness that's Committee, correct. which you are a member of. Uh, any other legislation? There's one other bill I think you want to talk about from that committee? Well, and, and this just came out this past week, and I think it's a phenomenal bill, and it would require the State Civil Service Commission to include at least one veteran. This is so necessary because I don't know if you were aware, but there was an investigation that was conducted by Auditor General and he uncovered more than 500 cases in which veterans' preference was denied. This happened ac across 25 different agencies. So this would help rectify this by having a veteran as a part of the Civil Service Commission. Giving them a voice on a very important commission. Exactly, sure. exactly. Very good. Well, thank you for coming and stop, stopping by and talking to us about these uh, important veterans' issues. Thank you. Thank you for having me. If you have any questions about this or any state-related issue, you'll find Representative Boback's contact information on your screen in a second. I'm Herb Logan. Thanks for spending five minutes with State Representative Karen Boback.